Hello, this is Laurie Sullivan, and I'm going to present a case of a white cataract um, in a very young patient, a 28-year-old keratoconic, who seemed to develop this very rapidly over a few weeks before I saw him. You'll notice the cornea is quite um, flexible as I'm creating paracentesis here. My concern, of course, is not to achieve an Argentinian flag sign with rupture of the anterior capsule due to um, raised intralenticular pressure from now I'm planning to aspirate any liquid cortex I can by using a 25 gauge needle through the paracentesis and you'll see the change in the color of this white cataract as I aspirate fluid. Hopefully an hour decompressed the uh, capsular bag. I'm still quite nervous though. Stilling some vision blue under the uh, visco, dispersive viscoelastic. I've washed out the vision blue and again I'm going through with the needle just to see if I can open the initial opening enough to start a capsularexis. I'm restaining and trying to spread the vision blue and it's not really spreading very much. Now I'm performing some irrigation aspiration to clear a space and injecting some cohesive viscoelastic and I can just see the puncture in the capsule there and I'm trying to grasp it with some capsularexis forceps and trying to tear it but it's not yielding to my initial attempt to tear it In fact, there's some fibrosis behind the anterior capsule, which is preventing me from starting the rexus. I'm concerned that if I keep pulling harder I'll have a sudden tear out to the periphery. Some lens milk has just come out again. some more cohesive viscoelastic to keep that capsule pushed back. You can see a fold forming in the anterior capsule opposite where I'm pulling so I'm going to try and take it around the opposite direction. Ah, that seems to be a bit more successful, a bit easier, so we'll continue in that direction. I'm trying to make the rexus large enough without allowing it to tear out to the periphery. So I'm pulling back to the center as well as trying to direct it around the periphery. More viscoelastic. You can see the capsule is quite fibrotic and tough and not easy to tear. But with patience and persistence I'm getting it around.
So the capsule is still a little adherent, and now I have a, an intact capsular axis. Going in with the irrigation aspiration by manual. Really as much as anything trying to clear a space centrally in which to work. Protecting the cornea again with a soft shell technique with dispersive uh, viscoelastic surrounding cohesive. And now doing a little bit of hydrodissection within the bag. Back to irrigation aspiration. Just working patiently and slowly and trying to keep within the safe central zone until I get better visibility and a bit of a red reflex. Unfortunately I have made the rexus a little bit small on the uh, sub-incisional side so it's not easy to access that sub-incisional cortex. There's still a lot of cortex in the periphery as you can see. Since I can't access the subincisional cortex easily, I'm going to inject the foldable IOL. I'm going to use the IOL haptics to try to free any uh, residual peripheral cortex once it's inserted. Once again, a lot of folding of the cornea. suturing the wound um, because the wound is going to be leaky and I'd like to perform any further maneuvers with a pressurized anterior chamber. Passing the needle from periphery to central means that you don't deform the cornea as much and the anterior chamber is easier to maintain during uh, passage of the needle. Just making a slip knot here. So fourth rows all together. Aspirating viscoelastic. Now rotating the lens to try and free up any peripheral cortex. Uh, irrigating and aspirating behind the IOL to remove the viscoelastic that's behind the IOL. I think this is important to get a good apposition of the posterior capsule to the posterior optic surface. Trying to seek that subincisional cortex again. And I finally managed to pick it up. A 
It's still a bit of fibrotic cortex attached to the margin of the capsule rexus there, and I'm just trying to see if I can get that off without tearing anything. And now polishing the anterior capsule posterior surface. Trying to remove any residual lens epithelial cells. I reckon I've done enough and I'm just injecting some antibiotic solution and hydrating the wounds. Thank you.